restart the clock. Next question, the member for Essex. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, the Premier likes to make a big show about giving out his cell phone number, but this week it seems like he's not too happy about the nature and the volume of calls that he's getting from the Oshawa region and the workers at GM. Speaker, the president of Unifor Local 673 tweeted yesterday, quote, King Vaughan, come Doug forward. Ford called our national president, Jerry Diaz, to ask if he can stop Uniform members for from North calling him on his personal cell phone forward. regarding GM. <laughs> Speaker, does the Premier think that if he can stop the calls from coming in, the people in Oshawa won't care that he refuses to fight for their jobs? Premier. It, it, through you, Mr. Speaker, when I did speak to Jerry Diaz, I told him there was a lot of rude, Order. nasty swearing going on attacking my family, attacking my brother, and I said to him, I wish you would get your members, the rude ones, to stop calling, but the good ones that I've talked to, 99% of them, and there was 99% good calls, and when I spoke to him, I found out one thing, Jerry Diaz doesn't have too much support within his own Unifor uh, union. That's what I learned. I learned that people actually realize and appreciate the truth. They know the biggest problem here are the tariffs. The, their tariffs are killing the auto sector. And I made it very clear, if the Prime Minister Spons. wants to do something, get rid of the carbon tax, get rid of these job-killing tariffs. That's the truth. I've talked to more GM workers. Thank you. Stop the clock. Start the, start the clock. Supplementary. Speaker, uh, the Premier can blame the Prime Minister. He can blame Jerry Diaz. In a question yesterday to the Minister of uh, Economic Development, the Minister said that he had been on the phone. Your government's been on the phone with GM for weeks and weeks and months. But it's pretty clear that it was only until GM spoke with Ford that they decided to get the hell out of Dodge. Member for King Bond, Speaker, the Premier is in, in for quite the education this week. The women the and men fighting for their jobs in forward. Oshawa aren't the trained SEALs and backbenchers who do standing ovations on command, and they're not Dean's French, uh, Dean French's temp temper tantrums aren't going to scare them. Speaker, for the workers watching at home may they, who may not have the Premier's number but want the Premier to fight for jobs. Yeah, I'm going to caution the member on intemperate language and ask him to withdraw. It's your offensive remark. Speaker, thank you. Speaker, for the workers watching at home who may not have the Premier's personal cell phone number but want the Premier to fight for their jobs, King Vaughan, can the Premier forward. confirm that his cell phone number is still 416-805-2156? Let me say that again. 416-805-2156. Is that what it is? Premier. Boy. You, you know something? <laughs> You're just proving he's available, unlike you. If you wanted to give your you know, number through you, Mr. Mr. Speaker, your number through, through you, Mr. Speaker. I want to hear your number. Wow. Through, through you, Mr. Speaker, I'm glad that people talk to me. You don't get stuck in a bubble like the opposition does. They, they get stuck in this ivory tower. <laughs> they say they're for the working people. Through you, Mr. Speaker, they aren't for the working people. They're, they're, they're there for the Jerry Diaz's and the rest of the big heads of unions. They aren't there for the frontline union workers. It's amazing. And the best thing that happened, Unifor did send out my number. And the best thing you did is remind people to call me. Because once you speak to them, Once you actually speak to people and you actually talk to them and you get into a conversation. Thank you. Thank you. 